So this is the end result. Basically, I'm using the list variables to change uh, and customize Bootstrap here. So uh, I'm going to show you how you do that. So right now, I just changed the spacing between uh, the columns and also have changed the uh, number of columns. So uh, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to install MAP if you're using Mac or XAMPP if you're using um, Windows. So that will give you, you know, the server to run. Basically when you install MAP or XAMPP you'll get a folder called htdocs for, uh, win uh, for Mac uh, that is in uh, applications. MAP and then htdocs. For Windows, it's in uh, C, uh, backslash, uh, XAMPP, and then htdocs is in there. So make sure you use that for your um, development. So let's get started. I'm going to copy the files from the first video. I'm just going to use it as a project template. I'm going to add all the files again, um, just again to summarize. So I've added the project template folder, folder to the uh, root of the htdocs. So this is this is exactly the same thing from uh, the first video. I'm just going to bring it to Sublime. There it is. So here's the index file. I made a mistake in the first video. It's usually a good idea to put jQuery first, but now it really doesn't matter. Um, so that's jQuery. This is Bootstrap uh, JavaScript file. I'm just going to get rid of this one. The CSS because instead of CSS we're going to use less so we're going to delete that. Let's head over to Bootstrap project get bootstrap.com the github project this is where it is I'm gonna again choose the RC1 and I'm gonna download the zip file to htdocs new bootstrap so I'm gonna go there and I'm going to unzip the project. Then I'm going to go there and grab this folder called less. I'm going to copy that and put it in the root where the the same level as index. Then I need to go to lesscss.org to grab the compiler. So let's download that. Again in htdocs, new bootstrap, and I'm going to put it in the JS folder. So that's good. Now, if you go to documentation here in lesscss.org, in the usage section, it will tell you what to do. First, you need to add the link. So let's put that here. We just need to adjust for the reference here. So if you look at in the project, the file is in less. So, less, and there's a file there called bootstrap.less. So I'm just going to put it here. And also, you'll need the JavaScript portion. So let's add that too. I'm going to add that after the less is added. So also here, I need to adjust the name here. So if you remember, we put that in JS folder, and there it is. So JS folder, and that's the name of the file. So now we're all set. So let's start customizing uh, Bootstrap. So the file that you'll need is this variable file in the list folder right there. So I'm just going to open that. And I'm going to go all the way down in the grid section. Uh, just look for grid system. So here are the variables. This determines the distance between columns. So, I'm um, columns. So I'm just going to change this to um, 12 pixels. To see the results, I'm just going to add a simple container here and um, a couple of columns. Good. So now let's go and see uh, what we have. Before anything, we need to run the server. So I'm just going to open up MAMP and start the servers. You'll do the same thing if you run Windows. Uh, you would open XAMPP and um, you would navigate to the htdocs and you would click on the project. I'm just going to change this to something maybe bigger, so let's say 50, so we can see the difference. 
and there you go, it's changing. You can also change the number of uh, columns, so I'm just going to change this to 16, and uh, I'm just going to paste 16 columns there, and there you go. You know, you can just change the distance, uh, the distance between each column, and there you go. I guess that gave you some ideas of the things you can do uh, with uh, less variables. I'm just going to put the, uh, the the code in the description.